Spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. John chapter fourteen verses twenty one to twenty six. At the time Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And the word that you hear is not mine, but Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you, while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, who, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things, and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. John chapter 14, verse 22. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, anyone who loves me will listen to my sermon now. Anyone who loves me will tell me after Mass what I have spoken. Anyone who loves me will always try to understand the deeper meaning of the reflection that today I am going to share. My friends in Jesus Christ, in today's world, people love to long for love. Parents love to long to love their children, and the children will try to love their parents. And even the teachers, sometimes some good teachers, will always love their students. Like that goes on, everyone who always try to love each other. And today the Lord speaks about the love. What is this love? He says, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. What are his teachings? My dear friends, in Jesus Christ, his teachings are very, very simple, but pointless to the world. His teachings are very apt, but it is against the world. Against the thinking of the world. Sometimes the Lord says, when if you someone hurts you, forgive him, he says. Or give them like, one more chance. When the Peter asked, Lord, if my brother goes against me, how many times should I forgive him? He says, 77 times, which means n number of times. See the love that he has brought. And the world says, if someone hurts you, you return it back immediately. Or if the, world, the Lord says, you need to forgive each other. And love each other. That's what last Sunday we have heard a new commandment that I give you that love one another and that same love that you need to exhibit to the other persons. These are the commandments of Jesus, my dear friends, in Jesus Christ. When we follow these commandments, I'm sure that we love Him so much. If you don't love Him, and if you say, Lord, I love you more than anyone else. And I don't follow, I don't come on time for Mass, I don't come on myself in rosary, I don't say my personal prayers in my house, but I still love you, my Lord. That doesn't work. 
That's what we read in the book of, in the letter of uh, uh, Saint Jacob. He says, if anyone says that I love God and hate the brother, he is a liar. He says, if anyone says I love God and hate my brother, who is just seen uh, with the naked eyes, he is a liar. And today, how can you say that I love my God more than anyone else? We can't say that unless you love our neighbor. My friends in Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, we are not just the followers of Christ or the followers of commandments. We should never become only the followers of Christ, but we need to love, become the lovers of Christ. I love God. I love my neighbor. I love my, uh, the commandments that God has given to me. That shows the difference between you as a lover of Christ and the follower of Christ. We have seen so many people are there, the followers of Christ. Maybe we have received the baptism and say, but I love you, Lord, to the end of my life. So I want to become your follower because I love you. But the others are say, because they have seen so many some miracles in somebody's life, and they believe, they say, we are the followers of Christ. And today, are you the follower of Christ or the lover of Christ? If you are a lover of Christ, your love should be exhibited as love Jesus exhibited in his life. Both my defense in Jesus Christ, at times these teachings, maybe the Ten Commandments, are restricted only to the Catechism books. These Ten Commandments are restricted only to the Catechism teachers and the Catechism students. And once if you cross the Tenth class, that's how Ten Commandments will never touch us. It was, the world has become that way. But today, our teachings, the commandments that God has spoken to us, should never restrict ourselves only to the Catechism books, but we need to follow them. That's the way we become the lovers of Christ, my dear friends, in this race. It is not only to love, it is to obey. If you say, I love my God, and you need to also obey the Lord, but the obedience, he says, obedience can be understood in two forms. The first is the sense of obligation and the sense of affection. Most of us are in the level of sense of obligation because, one, because they are commanded. Because God commanded us to love one another, so I, I do that. God commanded us to forgive others, I do that. No. You need to have that kind of affection towards the commandment that God has given. That makes a difference between the follower and the command and the lover. Yes, my dear friends in Jesus Christ. When we love someone, we are willing to do anything for their sake. For example, if a boy and girl are in love, you could see in many movies they project. They will, they will be longing to see each other, longing to talk to each other, longing to uh, get the chance to talk to each other. That kind of that kind of love is more greater than the Lord's love. He is expecting each every individual that you need to follow the truly the commandments with the love for the commandments, not for the sense of obligation, but it is a sense of affliction. If you truly love him, you will follow his commandments. If I don't say that I don't follow my Lord and I don't love him, then these ten commands will never touch us. If you might be friends in Jesus Christ, this is the chances the court is, the ball is in our court. If you want to love the Lord and become the lover of Christ, then you will enter into his kingdom. Or else, if I say I am only the follower of Christ and I only have my obligations to follow the commandments, then you will be in that line. Therefore, choose between the obligation and the affection between us. Amen.